Okay, it immediately made me rewind. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. <laughs> yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. That's Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. And I'm gonna take a picture of that bird statue. If you ever let me play again. Oh, don't do this, Chloe. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Great, let Find me do some it. some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Let me move, please. Thank you. You're not so tacky up close. Can I take a picture of it? Ugh, no. There must be something I have to do with it. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Yeah, well, I still think they're a good idea. Tumbleweeds. I have no idea what that means. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Ugh. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Only two more files to go. What? Oh, we took them. Okay. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. I just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that one for that one magic clue, and once again, Acadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Problematic, Bad, Chloe. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against non-mandatory institution. See attached police reports. Jeez. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. What other file are we looking for? Whiskey bottle. Can I do anything with the whiskey bottle? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. 
And yeah. nothing here. Maybe we're looking for Kate's file? Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. This is such a good thing that I can see. I want to take a picture of you. Oh, good, a lamp. Thank God. Ah, there's the file we're looking for. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. At present time, there's security investigation into controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex film party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See attached files for complete details. Minto Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent, recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eye on her and make sure she's not under stress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Good, at least the nurse is fucking paying attention. Somebody should be. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. You think? Doesn't mean we have. I know there's something I can do with that bird statue. I'm so mad. Ugh. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus. And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super he -bros. No, it just Jesus. sounds like he is... David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. The bird? No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha -ching. We're not stealing wow, money. Sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Oh, shit. This is a decision. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Oh, fuck. Um... It's the handicap fund. Supposedly. We could also get that idiot off her back. Well, this school's corrupt. Just do it. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid. Right? You are a supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. <laughs> She's just like, books! But you never know. Let me get a picture of the fucking bird, man. I this feel like shit for taking that money. 